shooting an event called Phenomenal People and uh, we've created uh, an environment at the bottom of the South Bank Centre. Um, it's basically a garden and in that garden there are amazing women sharing stories about other inspiring and amazing women in various different kind of theatrical uh, modes. create an environment where it was kind of fun and comfortable for these short stories to be shared. Lizzie Clacken, um, the designer, she uh, came up with this idea of a garden which kind of gave me a great starting point which was natural sounds, uh, birds, wind, um, rain, this, all these kind of very elemental sounds which could make a kind of a good seed bed um, from which the voices of women could emerge and float on the surface of for a while and then recede back. There's a, a, a few different ways that you can contribute your stories so that by the end of the weekend the space is full of not just the stories that the artists have made but also contributions from the public. We also have the kind of digital website um, where we've been collecting lots and lots of stories and people have been um, contributing, the public have been contributing to those stories. And so now there's a kind of bank, a wealth of all these stories and we know that we want to kind of continue gathering the stories. What happens to them is what we don't know yet. We can work with people that we um, haven't worked with for a long time or haven't worked with before but whose work we've always admired and have been kind of following. And so we chose a group of really fantastic female artists from all different backgrounds. Some of them are dancers or choreographers, some of them are theatre makers, some of them are sculptors, poets, all kinds of different people. We've been privileged to hear all of those stories from all of these different women and then to, to help them to, to tell them to an audience. I am inspired by a Simone de Beauvoir. I'm just going to talk about her a little bit. I was a little bit afraid because I'm not a performer and I was conscious that there'd be lots of people who were performers. Um, and Kate and Louise are very good at reassuring me and saying, no, a whole mixture of responses to the brief is fine. I think there's something lovely in the format because we spend a lot of time, men and women, generalising about what it's like to be a man or a woman. There's something about the specificity of all these different takes and the kind of individual responses to the brief that debunks the idea of generalising. We don't invest enough in our industry um, in the female voice and what I think is really lovely about Fuel is that they're trying really, really hard to make sure that every single individual female, young, old, different races, religions, has a chance to be heard and, that, and that's what this weekend is about and it's great. Her skin was transparent, as was her love for me. After she died, I guess she moved in, like inside my body. Exactly inside me, as close as white on bread, which I just made up. It, it's supposed to be white on rice, but I like white on bread. <laughs> but I thought of being inspired by the idea of motherhood, or the sort of relentlessness of it sometimes, and using repeating shapes, which I like using, to to make something sculptural as a kind of meditation on motherhood. I'm not a performer, so it was quite exciting um, to do something live. And to make something at a festival that's about women is, is amazing. I mean, I've never been part of anything like this. Yesterday ended with Jenny Seeley, who's the artist director of Grey Eye, signing with the whole room I will, the, the lyrics to I Will Survive. And that was just so funny. <laughs> There's been lots of different generations of women in the room and lots of different types of women um, coming through the space. A real kind of atmosphere of, of laughter and tears at different points. Some of the performances have been very funny and some of them have been very moving. Spending time with all of these different women, it's a tremendous sense of privilege and, and also, of course, very empowering and humbling and um, 
and fortifying. It's also very interesting to get a lot of female practitioners together watching each other's work really generously and with loads of support. It felt like the most enormous, fantastic get-together of, of minds and ideas. It feels now like there's enormous potential for us to take this project forward and um, for it to have ripple effects in different ways. I think a lot of people seem to be hearing about it. Somebody stopped me in the street before I, when I was on my way here and said, oh, I've heard this, fantastic. So what word is spread? Yeah. So I hope Fuel does a lot more work like this. It should. <laughs> For us, I think it's about um, taking forward the idea of celebrating women and the stories of inspiring women and bringing them to different places um, where audiences can experience something of the excitement and passion that happened this weekend. Baby, just can't